guys, this is Pitch City and we are back. Just like as always, this is a social platform where we talk about the social issues happening in Uganda and elsewhere in the world. And we bring it to you so lit and raw and on point. Today's topic is one that is affecting our society and it's a monster that we need to slaughter. Well, this topic is depression. Depression is becoming a very common issue in Uganda and... The reason why we are talking about it here is because we want to find a remedy for it. Are you depressed? Do you have a brother or a sister who is depressed? Are you personally affected by depression? Let's talk about it. Well, to me, depression is a, a condition. It's a mental condition where someone feels bad about themselves. It really affects the way they talk to others. It affects the way they think, the way they act, and the way they interact with the people. This issue we need to solve. I am Mas Cassandra. I'm a host on Pitch City. And I have a co-host, Edna. A very beautiful lady who is ready to solve this issue for you, depression. Like Sandra said, today we are talking about depression. It's something that is really going on. People are going through depression. I wouldn't want to believe what Sandra said, calling it a mental illness or something. I really believe it's a social disease. It's all about social pressures. What people are going through every day in their lives that is causing depression. To know more about this topic today on the show, we are joined by two beautiful ladies that have a bigger scope of knowledge about depression compared to me and Sandra. So, My name is Naiga Maria. I'm a community psychologist working in different communities, helping people who are going through depression. What you should know is that depression is actually a mental illness. It is not a social illness, but it's a mental illness. Uh, in Uganda, 4.6% people are suffering from depressive disorders and only 2.8% are undergoing anxiety disorders. What you should know at the end of the day is that depression is not looking for social classes. It affects the poor, the rich, the young and the old, men and women, all ages. My name is Apendi Matha and I am a community psychologist. What do I know about depression? Depression is one of the leading causes of disability today and it's more than just a low mood. If the symptoms persist for at least two weeks and they keep on happening most of the days, then you need help. What do I mean by it's more than just a low mood? We all feel sad after going through loss or life struggles. For example, loss of employment, uh, retirement, rejection. Then we feel sad, which is okay, which is common. But if these symptoms persist, for at least two weeks, then you need help. So, Martha? <laughs> no. Maria, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My interjection. That two M's. You don't have to. I mean, even the Bible has Maria and Martha. So. Maria so was actually sister. a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> you should not like ask one. those questions. Please don't ask those questions. They're personal and confidential. Yep. So are you two sisters? You mm -hmm. could say. You could say we are sisters of the sisterhood. Oh. We are best friends. All those people think people claim saying sister from another mother. Yeah. Um, actually more than <laughs> sisters. Oh. She should actually be called statement. Maria and then you'd be called Martha because she looks innocent. Who? Oh, her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so considering and our discussion. You look like we're not innocent. Who? Oh, you, you look the most what's the guilty innocent, guilty person in the whole family. Oh the most used. <laughs> One, no, one good to that. <laughs> <laughs> so going back to our discussion, Maria, I think I got the name right. Yes. Could you yeah, tell yeah. us some of the few causes of depression? What is really making people get depressed? Okay, so I'm, I'm basically going to talk about four things. Mm -hmm. And the four would be grief, that would be life changes, mm. that would be loneliness, mm. and disagreement or desperate. Mm. So these are the things that people go through. These are daily thing. Mm. I mean, there is no one that is going to come out and tell me, I've never lost anyone. Mm. I've never grieved for anyone. Mm. Because bereavement is the, 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 the thing that I'm talking about. Mm. You lose a person that you love the most. Mm. The person dies. This person has been there for you, mm. close to you. Mm. They've been supporting you throughout your life. Mm. And when you lose this person, there is 
that time where you know you need some a long time you feel like you've lost yourself yes you've lost yourself and you want to just be alone. left alone but then if this left alone continues for so long that means you need help so is it is there some period you could look at saying if this continues like for two weeks it doesn't you be for help or you see bereavement mm. is different the period of bereavement is different from the period of depression mm -hmm. bereavement takes about six months mm -hmm. but depression it's like two weeks. Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so the thin line is that when six months elapse and someone continues to feel sad mm -hmm. it's okay to feel sad mm -hmm. but you see the moment the sadness affects your daily activity mm -hmm. that is when it becomes a problem so that's when yes. i slipped into depression yes mm -hmm. so then when when we come in mm -hmm. we are going to look at your past two weeks okay. how has your life been mm -hmm. in the past two weeks mm -hmm. and then that is when we'll know that the person has been in bereavement okay. but then it has led to depression okay. yeah basically i think i think that brings out what i earlier said that depression affects the way you relate with others mm -hmm. the way you feel the way you think about things and act mm -hmm. yeah that's so true because i mean when you lose a job mm -hmm. you think the world has ended yeah, yeah. at that particular moment that when the boss tells you you know what you're fired mm -hmm. you think life has stopped what am i going to do how am i going to get the school fees how am i going to pay the bills how am i going to get up for myself mm -hmm. And then a week goes on you're not leaving the house you, the weeks. next week you don't even want to look at your own kids mm. your own wife thinks you're being a nuisance in the house mm. you get so then that means it is actually becoming a problem you're not living your life to the fullest you see why depression is called a mental illness is because the moment your life is like let me say put in a box mm. I call it put, being put in a bottle. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. You you can't do anything yeah, besides worry. Sounds like this to Nigeria. <laughs> You're thinking about being put into a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is depression almost. You 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 just packed in one place. You have no breathing space. You can't even turn. Thank you. You can't turn. Wait. So is that one of the symptoms? I think let's go into the symptoms of of depression. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You said uh, your life is. Packed up in a bottle. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to say it. But I think we we could you know we could look at things like low appetite. Mm, yeah. um, most of the time, when someone is depressed, mm. they normally feel worthless. I yeah, think, true. And they have a very very depressed mood. Mm. They're so low. They have these feelings of being so guilty. I'm not worthy. I I can't do it. No one likes me. I have me. a personal experience of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When Mr. So and So dumped you, did you? No, 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 no. It wasn't even about jumping. By the way, you got depressed, Sandra. It's Let me not about, bring that thing to It's not about jumping. <laughs> Wait, well, I'm going to say something. You guys, depression is real. So this man, I met him. Eh, nice looking guy. Do you know what the guy told me? Master, you are fat. <laughs> but I swear, right. I swear, let us not joke. We're not joking. This is a That's serious thing. That's why he went to that gym. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the guy told oh. me that I am fat. The guy told me that, that I have hurts. big thighs. I did. I felt so bad. I felt so worthless. Like, mm -hmm. I'm now getting serious about depression. I felt so bad. I felt like, oh my gosh. I wasn't really comfortable with my own skin, with my own body. Mm -hmm. I would look at women and I feel like, yeah, I think I'm really too fat. So how long did you get into that situation? It really took months, like a lot of months, until I, I talked to a friend and then they told me, Sandra, you are beautiful. Sandra, yes, you are short, but you're killing it. <laughs> <laughs> they love and, you how you are. Yes, and then... Uh, but one thing I, I had to know is that I had to help myself. Yeah. Yes. You have to help yourself to feel better. So I had to gain the self confidence about myself. I had to go to the gym. I had to make sure that I look nice, that I impress myself first before I can. I I would wish someone to get impressed. Mm, you know. Yeah. So basically, that's it. It's real. It's really real. Yeah. Sandra, so I'm glad you accepted the fact that. Yeah, everything begins with you. Mm. You know, at times, the reason as to why we are all laid back, the reason as to why we are all affected by 
these illnesses, the anxiety, the depression, the the mood disorders, everything is because we never accept. Mm. We forget the fact that everything begins with us. Mm. If yeah. you really want to heal, it's you. That's why some drunkards can never ac- can never do away with drinking because they're like, no, I'm not a drunkard. I mean, I do not drink. How, How can I live without be? being drunk? No, they never accept the fact that they really need help. And I actually connect to Sandra's story. I'm a plus size. I know, and you're happy with it. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm way too bold for this. <laughs> but you see, I've lived all sizes. Mm. I've been small before, mm. and now I'm a plus mm. size. Mm. And then I've, I've had people telling me funny things about my size. Hey, you're too fat. Hey, what, what, what. But you know what I used to tell them? You got nothing on me. Mm. I mean, I may be fat. Mm. I may look like this. Mm. But I have pretty features that you don't you have. Exactly. You see, when you accept the beauty that you yeah, have and yeah. that you hold inside, mm. the rest of the world can't judge you. You mm. see, people get depressed. People get stressed because of world validation. It's true. You need people to validate how you look, how you wear, what you do. Mm. Now, this brings in the idea social media is becoming a major factor of depression. You see, you look at you look at a very nice, good-looking person on social media on your phone. You don't know that they're actually using filters. Yeah. You do not know that they're using Snapchats and all those things, and you feel like, oh my God, I'm so worthless. Look at my size; they're too big. Look at my lips; they're tiny. <laughs> yes. Social media, I would say, it is a good and a bad thing at the yeah, same it time. Yeah. Yes. So. The nice things that social media teaches us, yeah, okay. and there are those things that are not really good for us to, to, mm. to hear or to know. But all you need to know is that please don't get a word validation for you to be happy. Yeah, I've true. been there, done it, and seen it. So, mm. so it's, it's just, it's, it's all about you. Mm. Mother keeps telling me, Mary, you need to have more self love. Mary, you need to have more self love. Guess what? I'm having a to do list. And it's because I need to see how much do I love myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How much am I willing to go for me? Not for the world. Not for someone else. Mm -hmm. I do not need a guy to take me out for ice cream. I can take take yourself out. (laughs) When you're touching someone, you touch me. At the same time, I want us to know that there is a difference between someone feeling sad and actually being depressed. Yeah. You can't feel sad today and you go claim to the world that you're depressed. Actually, I was watching something on YouTube and uh, a motivation speaker said it was like, most of us are sad and not depressed. Yes. The moment you start feeling, okay, I'm sad, you need to think you're depressed. Mm-hmm. It in actual sense, you're just sad. You're just sad. Sadness. Sadness is for everyone. Yeah, everyone feels sad. Yes, yeah. it's like yes, fine. Depression can can attack anyone, mm. but then you should know that just because it rained and you're unable to reach work on time, that's not depression. That's not depression. Sad. Yeah, it's a one day's activity. Mm. You, you you just can't claim that you're depressed because of that. Mm. Just because you got a poor grade today mm. doesn't mean you failed because you're depressed. Mm. Yeah, it's just that. The procedure, you know, you just can't turn yourself depressed unless you've actually been diagnosed. Mm. Yeah, and there are tools for that. How do you diagnose depression? Is it like a blood test or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are questionnaires, mm. there are different questionnaires for diagnosing depression. Mm. And one of them is a PHQ 9. So, what? PHQ 9, okay. patient health questionnaire. Mm. Yeah, and there are 10 questions. Actually, there are nine, the plus nine. the other one that shows how it affects your daily mood. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So how, do you, how does the questionnaire work? Like, when you get all the ten wrong, you do first, or when you get all the ten wrong? Uh, no, it, it has scores mm. to show that this person is either mild, mm. de- mild, mildly mm. depressed, or mm. clinically depressed. You see, when you're clinically depressed, mm. that means you're, you're 20 and above. Mm. You're scoring 20 and above. Mm. And that means you actually need therapy plus medication. Mm-hmm. Me and Martha mm-hmm. don't give medication, mm-hmm. we give therapy. Mm-hmm. You see, in psychology, there are levels. Mm-hmm. 
So we are at the primary level. We are the prevention. Yeah. yeah, it's like in a school there is, you know, kindergarten, primary, yeah. So we, we are the kindergarten. Mm. When we go wrong, that means the next level is going to go wrong. Okay. Yeah. So, but then I change that by the therapy doesn't work and you push the person to the next level? Yes. It's possible. It's very possible. So it's the mild depression. Oh no, clinical depression is the highest, mm. which is 20 to, to 27. Yeah. yeah. And and then that means the person is going to be on on on, what? on medication and therapy at the same time. The others undergo therapy. With therapy, uh, particularly we, 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 we have been using IPTG and then CBT. And these are community therapies that we have been doing. Mm. Uh, they can work on one on one and group based. Mm -hmm. So, particularly right now, we are working in communities. So, we are doing group therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how we are helping women who are going through depression. I think I'm actually depressed. Each time mm -hmm. I look at my pocket, I get depressed. <laughs> like no, now. But you get uh, sad. Till you get sad. You get sad. You get sad. You get sad. You get When the end of month comes, she becomes happy yes. again. So, so that means sad. she's actually Look sad. at my pocket. Okay, oh, so when they start I'm it, depressed. <laughs> I'm very sure by mind you'll be fine. Yeah. I always have moments this time I look at my pockets. <laughs> With this financial issue in Uganda, honestly, why wouldn't you get depressed? Uh, you see, it's not all about the money. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's not all about the money. Oh, rejection is that biggest one. I have a problem with this, guys. Like, you break up and you commit suicide. Like, really, I feel like, anyway, it's a mental disorder, but I really feel like, you know, though you've broken up with someone, there is more to life to see. That's what we talk I about. Think, I think we all we all react to pain differently. I know. Yeah. There is someone who will say, ah, ah, he's gone, gone, I mean. And very yeah. many guys, like, really. Life goes on. Then, I'll get a breakup and, come on. You feel it, yeah. yeah. Stop. You feel like the world has ended. Yeah. yeah. That's why. You feel like the, mis the prince has gone away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your shoe is lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was telling you when you keep on wanting validation. Yeah. You see, you're in this relationship, mm -hmm. and you feel like if it is not him, it's no, no one else. else. Yeah. When he leaves you, you're gonna be stuck. The world has ended, and you're, you're gonna put yourself in a box. That's how it will start. Okay. So Martha and Maria, Maria. <laughs> you've given us all those good insights, the causes, the symptoms. What do you have for our viewers who are out there who are depressed, who are sleeping into depression? How are they able to cope up with this situation? What can they do? What remedies are there for depression? Remedies. There is talk therapy. Okay. Talking is really, yeah. really, really important. You always have to keep with your friends. Because I believe, yes, we have been taught not to feel pain mm -hmm. come on if you come on and tell if you come out and tell someone i've been through a breakup blah 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 i mean how can it happen yes. pain you shouldn't be showing anyone you're in pain that's weak strong people do not feel pain mm -hmm. so i think we need to keep on talking stay with your friends exercise continue knowing get to know, get to know about depression what is depression if you're sad what does it mean? What does it mean being sad? If you've been through a breakup, what do you have to do? Talk to people. Uh, and to add on to that, I think if you have been diagnosed with depression, there is therapy. Mm -hmm. There is therapy, there is medication. Yeah. But on top of that, like Martha said, the best support network will help you out. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, whether you're under therapy and you do not have a support network, you're going to go back. Mm -hmm. You have medication, but the people around you are not supportive. So you you're sleep going, back. To your you sleep back. Mm -hmm. And I think what we should know is that, you see, most of us women are coming out. Mm -hmm. We're coming out to say, hey, I'm, I'm going through trouble. I'm depressed and I need help. Mm -hmm. But we are forgetting about the men. Yeah. You see, people don't know. Mm -hmm. But have you realized that the percentage of people that commit suicide are actually men. Yeah. When you look at the, the past the past five years in Uganda, I read a kid, a boy, committed suicide. I remember a man jumping off a building. 
Yeah. I remember a, mo- a mob student. Mm. You see, all these are men. Do you know why? It, it's because people have credited men too much that men have feared to come out. No, I think because in everyday life, like spiritual, traditional, the men are looked at unto, as being that stronghold of the yes. family. Yeah. So there is no one who will come out and yeah. say, I'm depressed, I'm having issues. Mm-hmm. That's why they say a man is easily beaten up in a home, but you don't come go to the police and report of my wife is beating me. Yes. So because I think those are social norms that are really Oh my gosh, you just reminded me. And men are being beaten up nowadays. Yeah. Oh. Actually, domestic violence uh-uh. numbers are much uh-uh. more than men. They beat yes. the hell out of them. But that's what I'm saying. So, if you do not come out, mm. then you're dying alone. You get mm. it is okay not to be okay. True. It is very okay, but it is not okay not to be okay and you do not mm-hmm. acknowledge that. Mm. Yes. yes. You see the moment you have malaria mm. and you say, Okay, I have malaria, but I'm not gonna take the pills. That means you're gonna be sick and sick and, and then later on. Your yes. But then when you say I have malaria mm. and I've accepted malaria, mm. let me go and get medication. Mm. That is how depression is. So the way people take pills for, me, for, for malaria is the way people take pills for depression. So people should stop saying that these things are different, blah, 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 blah. It is an illness that needs help. You can take medication for it. You can have therapy for it. So I just want people to know who are out there and you're going through such times. You can reach out to people. Uh, because I, for one, I work with Mental Health Focus Uganda mm-hmm. and we help people with depression. So you don't have to feel alone. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I think I just learned something. It is okay not to feel okay, yeah. but it's not okay not to feel okay and not share it with someone else. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a term Christa Yeah, <laughs> it's so inspiring. Yeah, it's not okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so all of you are out there, I think if all of you ha- have learned something to do with depression. I personally thought it was just a social thing of you sit back, you're not feeling, you're not seeing value in yourself, mm-hmm. but like too much pressure on you, that's when just going to be depression, but I've learned it really something serious. Mm-hmm. So I think you've learned something from it, and if you have any questions about depression at all, I think you'll give us your contacts in case someone is depressed and they need the help, they can reach out to you. Sure. Yes, so thank you for being with us on the show. Thank you for and having us. I've, we've learned so much. I've been upset. We've learned something. Yeah, I'm so inspired. I don't know. But I've never seen you this quiet. And, yeah, um, I. You know when I'm inspired. Yeah, when I'm touched, I'm just so down, man. Feel like crying. So thank you for watching that show and keep subscribing to that channel. Keep liking the Facebook page and mm. keep posting and asking questions about any topic you feel you need more insight about. And don't get depressed. True. Because we are here. Don't yep. let the yeah. pressures get onto you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Till next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.